I'm going to start off with some honorable mentions. So with Miles Garrett, I get that. So I'm doing top five. I get that he should be top five, but he sort of gets like a Tom Brady, like LeBron syndrome, whatever they call it. And it's um like Miles Garrett gets 16 sacks a year and he has a great season. But for him to win defensive player of the year, they he's expected to get 16, but they want him to get like that 20. So it's like he's doing he he easily has a defensive player of the year season, but he gets that he's so great that he should be doing greater than he's already doing. So that's why I have Miles Garrett on my top five, and you'll see why some of the players. Max Crosby, he led the league in tackles for loss. Great defensive end for the Raiders. He if he gets that sack production up next year, then he is a, he has an easy, easy contender for defensive player of the year. The sack production, like all like although he had 10 plus. You need like he didn't have that fifteen, sixteen range, and this is a this is a very hot take I understand. But Jalen Carter, I mean he's the best one of the best defensive tackle prospects we've seen. Um, I mean he just dominates defenses, and um now with the Seahawks, he's got Nolan Smith with him. He's got Fletcher Cox to mentor him. The whole D line to mentor him, and they even just got Keely Uringo today to mentor him. So let's look at some highlights. Oh, they're a little soft for my liking here. Pressure, they got him back at the 40-yard line. Miles Garrett from once. Been up in the line. Do they drop? Do they come? They're coming. Fields is in trouble. Racing away, and he's sacked again. Miles. More attention is one of the elite rushers in this league. Murray under pressure. Can't get away and goes down. 25 yards. In Buffalo on Monday night. The give is to Henry on first down and back. From his own end zone. He waited too long and down he goes. And it's going to be a safety. Took the ball. Five in the first round. They're just about exactly the same statistically as they were. Number five, we got Chase Young. Look. I'm an Ohio State fan. We all saw Chase Young. I mean, what was he, third in Heisman voting? One of the best edge rushers of all time coming out of college. Um, He's been injured for two years. I firmly believe that he could come back and have a great season. I really understand I'm putting him above guys like Miles Garrett and Max Crosby, but that Redskins defense now with the D-line, I believe that Chase Young... Well, it'll wake like a warrior with inside of him because he's been injured for two years. So far on third, it's Wentz. Pump fakes and in trouble and fumble the football. It's Double wideouts on each side. And Chase Edmonds is down. Number four, we got TJ Watt. We all saw TJ Watt, dude. I mean, you, what, probably unanimous defense player all year. I'm not sure if somebody voted for some Miranda player. I mean, it's tied the sack record, defensive player of the year. We Everyone saw how dominant he was. He was hurt last year, but it's even just a bigger reason for him to bounce back just like Chase Young. I know that he played 10 games last year. He only had five and a half sacks. Like, maybe someone's going on with injuries. You never know what's going on, but it's just another reason for him and Chase Young just to bounce back and be in the defensive player of the year candidates. This is a 30-10. Hubbard under pressure, and he's going to go down. That's T.J. Watt. Motion man Higgins. Oh, blown up. Number three, got Micah Parsons. Generational linebacker. As a rookie, first-team All-Pro. One of the best linebackers in the league. Um, defense player of the year, runner-up. I mean, for a lot of, like, the beginning of the season, everyone was saying he was going to win it. I mean, 13 and a half sacks, 13 tackles, 90 pressures, second or tied with first in the league for pressures. We all know what this guy can do. We all know that he can win defensive play of the year in his career. I mean, he's just getting started. Um, we all know what Mike Parsons can do. I wouldn't be surprised if he took it on this year. I mean, he's just going to get better. Really be at your best. Otherwise, you really just can't be you know, at your best right away. Parsons is at his best. Oh. He's got another set. 35, Brady, Micah Parsons brings him down. 
here we go. Here we go with the possible comments. I got Nick Bosa at two. And there's going to be a reason for this. I mean, Nick Bosa is going to be one of the most dominant edge defensive ends for the next 10 years. We're going to see him win another defensive player of the year. We're going to see him lead the league in sacks again. We're going to see him lead the league, like top three in the league with tackles for loss. But my number one player, I mean, do we know Nick Bosa? I mean, he's going to be great. First day, last week, or last playoff game, whatever, the 49ers. He's going to be great. He's going to dominate offensive lines. He's going to get a sack, two sacks a game. And you never know. I mean, 18 and a half sacks, you never know if he'll get that 22 and a half. I mean, he's, what is it? Is he was rookie in, uh, I think he was rookie in 2019. So he's still, like, he's still got another 10 years. But I got him at two. Very hot take. And that was one of the areas that Justin Fields thought he might be able to exploit. On third down, he's in trouble. And there's Nick Bosa on this loaded front. And be incomplete. Third down and nine. Bosa. The sack. Number one, Sauce Gardner. By far the greatest corner in the league. I mean, Pat Sertain is second. But, I mean, dude, like. I can't name you the last time we saw a first-team All-Pro cornerback. Like, I genuinely can't think the last time we saw that. I mean, but dude, saw we all saw, like, we know what he did in his work here. He shut down everybody, first-team All-Pro, 20 prospects as a rookie, led the league in PBLs. Um, you could just watch the highlights. I mean, dudes, like, they can't get open. I mean, yeah, the interceptions aren't there, but it's just because, I mean, you can't even, I mean, it's either just a press, but they're just not open. Like, they're not throwing to him. I got him at one because we haven't seen a corner like this in so long. Like, I might, like, I know he's a rookie, but the potential is there. I mean, sky's limit. We're going to we're gonna be watching this guy for the next 10, 15 years. Just, we're going to see those Darrell Revis panels that say, like, notable wide receivers held under 50 yards. I mean, we're going to see it all with this kid. And if he, like, he has a great – look, with the, how the league's set up, they only really take sack leaders now as defensive players. But if Sauce is that dominant, like, he could have an easy contention to win it. Super hot take, though. I can see the comments. There, but a big chunk gain for the Ravens. 32 yards on the penalty. Jackson looking deep for Andrews, and it's broken up. Sauce got a hand. The, the third, second, and third long situations are tough to deal with. Deep down this sideline for Pickens, it isn't. What's well, a video? Let me know in the comments if you oppose any of my opinions. This is the hot take. This is super rough. I mean, we haven't even we haven't seen Chase Young and TJ Watt play in a year, but these are just my predictions. I mean, it's obviously it's like rough predictions, but. You know, I had some hot takes, but this is my opinion. You know, I bet on these players. I'd easily bet on these top five players. 